Good morning, everybody. Day 65, I believe. It's day 65. I'm not sure. It's kind of like, well, it's misting on me right now. It started raining last night at like, I don't know, 3.45 or something in the morning. So the only reason I know that is because my, my tent doors were wide open. And I'm like, oh, here comes the rain. So I had to close her up a little bit. And uh, it's supposed to rain all day today, everybody. So we'll see how much uh, cool stuff and views I can get to you. But I'll try. I'll try my best. So, yeah, I almost kind of wish I would have just left at 345 this morning, my tent. Uh, because it's not supposed to rain, start raining again good until, I don't know, 830 or so. Which I'm not far off because... I stayed in my tent until about 6.45, everybody. So, yeah, I was like, I don't want to get wet. But then I realized, you know what? It's only water, baby. So, yeah, that's what it is. Day 64, I think, 65. One of those days. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff. And the views, like I do, baby. So, hang tight. Yes, I'm hanging on to this, because you never know. What's happening, everybody? So, yes, it's still misting. I'm waiting for it to start raining. I just got my umbrella out, because the stuff falling from the trees is like, it was getting me a little wet, so. I decided why not just put the umbrella out. I'm carrying it anyways in my hand. I just will carry it like it's supposed to be carried, open. <laughs> and uh, I gotta say everybody, pretty. I'm kind of proud of myself because yesterday uh, there's a Hawk support member that uh, wanted to meet me at 501 or 643 and take me back to their house and feed me a meatloaf dinner and macaroni and cheese. But in my mind, everybody, I was so set on doing a 30 mile day that I didn't even, yeah, I couldn't do it. I could not bring myself to stop short yesterday, even though that offer from G-Man uh, was very, very tempting, everybody. And it still would have been like a 26 something mile day. But when I woke up in the morning, I was convinced I was gonna do a 30 and there's nothing gonna stop me. So, yeah. Sorry about that, G-Man. Uh, but yeah, my brain was set on a 30. So, yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself for not going this time and doing what I wanted to do, which was perfect. So, alrighty guys. Figured I'd show you trail and ramble a little bit. Check this out, everybody. We're walking underneath this interstate. I think it's Interstate 80, but I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, yeah. More graffiti. I can't even show you this stuff because it's all... Yeah. Vulgar. It's vulgar. We no kids seeing that stuff. <laughs> yeah, check this out, everybody. I'm riding between these two interstates. How cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I can't believe it's not raining right now it's supposed to be downpouring uh so maybe the weatherman don't know what he's talking about and maybe it won't rain today but i don't know i don't even look to the radar usually i look to look at the radar for myself just to make my own wise decision white blazes baby oh that bridge is making funky noises How cool though. 
And see, there's a road right up here, everybody. That will take me into Lickdale. They got a McDonald's, a Burger King, a Dunkin' Donuts. So, don't be surprised if I try to hitch into this, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, don't be surprised if I try to hitch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna walk down this road for a while and go over this cool bridge. Now I know where I'm at. Yeah, don't be surprised if I go in town for breakfast. If I can get a quick hitch, I'm in there, baby. See everybody? Is that cool bridge we get to walk over? Let me just get to it and I'll show you. All right, everybody. Here's this cool bridge. Right, let me see if I can zoom you guys in enough to read it. There you go. Now you can read it. What a cool bridge, everybody. Boom, let me get center of this thing. And I think this road right up here, you're gonna probably see a car pass in front of us. I think I'm gonna go to, into town and get some breakfast. And by the time I get back out on trail, it should be downpouring on me. So, <laughs> that'd be fun. Look at that, everybody. Even in the rain, it's beautiful. I say it all the time. Right now, it's a mist. Mist, rain, whatever. Yeah, baby. See, look, everybody, I could take this trail down to Lickdale. Right there, boom, Lickdale. 2.3 miles. I think I'm gonna try my luck at hitching before I walk 2.3 miles. I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens, but this is the road I'm gonna hitch in, baby, right here. So wish me luck. What's happening, everybody? So, this is getting to be a tricky hitch, I think. I don't know, I've been here 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna do another 20 minutes, and if I don't get a ride by then, I'm just gonna move on. Live without town food, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I will live, for sure. So. But I was just craving some McDonald's, or Burger King, or whatever they got in there, with some coffee. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But we'll see everybody. Just need some traffic. Once we get some traffic, it's only a matter of time, everybody, before somebody picks me up. So, wish me luck again. I couldn't resist myself, everybody. I wasn't getting a hitch, so I'm like, you know what? I'll just take the 2.3 mile side trail into Lickdale. And the road's right there, everybody, but there's no shoulder to walk on to hitch on. So once I get up here past this, this interstate, I already walked under once. Uh, but it's not the same trail. So, yeah, once I get up here past this guardrail right there, there should be a place to hitch. So I'm just going to walk until I get a ride. Or I'm going to walk the whole 2.3, baby. Don't matter to me. I say it's a rainy, rainy day anyways, so I'm gonna make it fun. Put it that way. I'm going to get some town food, and if you're wondering, everybody, I do have my orange. It's just attached to my backpack right now. So, yeah, let's get up here a little farther. Try to get us a hitch. Yeah, baby. So as soon as I got back on the road, I hiked another half mile or so, and this lady picked me up. So, let's go inside and ruin our stomachs, everybody. Check it out, everybody. See that cool bridge behind me? That's when we walked over. Now look, we're going back up the woods right here. So I just left out of Lickdale. Second car picked me up. So I gotta give a huge shout out to the single ladies out there 
that didn't even know that they were part of the Hawk support team, picking me up, taking me to town, and then picking me up and taking me back to trail. I can't believe it, everybody. More single women in their cars have picked me up hitchhiking than men. So thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. And uh, when I was in Lickdale there, everybody, apparently, apparently my PayPal account isn't working. Won't let people donate money to me. So I had to call them and deal with that. I guess they just needed a picture of my photo ID to prove that it's me. So three, four more days, three to five days, they told me he'd be ready to accept money again, but whatever. Don't matter to me. All I know is somebody that was trying EC, because Elizabeth Corzelius uh, let me know that it wasn't working. She tried to donate some more money to me in PayPal and uh, told her it couldn't do it. So I got to the bottom of it, everybody. Took me like an hour and a half to figure it out, but we got her done. So now I'm just leaving out of Lickdale in the rain, which was, I can't believe I left that town because three hotels right by fast food restaurants. Yeah, I probably should have just stayed in town because it's supposed to rain the rest of the day today. So at about four o'clock, it's supposed to get really wild. Looks like my radar anyways, so. Alrighty guys, for gonna let you know, made it in and out of Lickdale. Lickdale, that's a weird name for a town. But yeah, now we're just gonna mosey down the trail. I'm not gonna go fast today because all these rocks, these rocks, yeah, they're slippery when they're wet. So, woo, see, told ya. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mosey everybody and enjoy walking in the rain, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna have to change my patch out too to embrace the suck, so let me get that ready too. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll touch back in a bit. What's happening, everybody? So I figured I'd break out and give you a little trail time. And, uh, ooh, look at this campsite, everybody. Oh, that's pretty nice. Nice and flat. Look at that. Booyah, baby. But I'm not stopping this early, that's for sure. Oh, and I was going to touch on Lickdale, everybody. That's the first time I ever went into Lickdale. And, uh, man, it's a pretty nice place for hikers, actually. They got like four fast food restaurants. Well, they got Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, and Chester's Fried Chicken. And at the truck stop, everybody, the gas station I went to with McDonald's in it, they got showers, coin-operated showers for truckers. So, just in case you're wondering, uh, yeah, you take a shower there, too. So, it's pretty sweet. So, Lickdale gets a thumbs up in my book, everybody. And now we're just going to remember that beaver dam, everybody, that we went through up to our knees in water. Uh, that's going to be today, I think. I, I know it will be. So, what a great day to go through the, the beaver dam when it's already raining on me. So, perfect. All right, guys. Figured I'd show you. Check this out, everybody. This is awesome. This trail looks so cool right now. Look at that. That's where it came from. Yeah, this is so sweet the way it looks. Like walking through the trees with the red on each side. Yeah, this is awesome. And it's still like misting on me. Like the grass is wet for sure. So my shorts are wet. See? <laughs> Shoes are soaking wet, but whatever it's not downpouring yet but like i say my radar it looked like about i don't know 3 3 30 i better get ready for thunderstorms <laughs> but we'll see like i say it's just rain i don't care and that little break in lickdale i tell you what that was perffect so yeah got i actually ended up getting six breakfast burritos everybody so i showed you four then i went back out and got two more and i had a large coffee 
chocolate milk and I got a 12 ounce Coca-Cola in my backpack for when the rain starts. So I can be like, oh yeah, this is nice. I got a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I forgot to show you this cool little, this cool little walk in this field. And the trail looks awesome too, so yeah. Check this out, everybody. That's where we came from. And look, I gotta show you something here. Got some signage. Look. Oh, let me show you this at first. Water crossing, beaver dam ahead. Alternate dry route, AT, 1.6 miles. And you guys know me. I'm a purist, baby. So, I don't take any alternate routes. And I know what this beaver dam's all about, so. My feet are already soaking wet, so let's go get them wetter, everybody. This is a busy little beaver down here. And uh, I can't believe they just don't reroute the AT around this thing on the alternate route. I mean, they change the trail every year anyways. Why not change it around this beaver's home? But let's go give the beaver some company. Hopefully we can see him and I can, uh, have a little talk with him about this dam he's creating. <laughs> Howdy guys, let's go get wet feet at the beaver dam. Wetter feet. Look how dark it is everybody for being like, I think it's like 1, 1 in the afternoon and it's like pretty dark. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking two more hours and it's gonna start thunderstorming, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna walk in a thunderstorm, I might just do that. I don't really know. It's been a while since I've done that. It's always exhilarating, uh, but we'll see. And I'm pretty sure Beaver Dam's coming up right up here, so let me get to it, everybody, and I'll show you. Okay, everybody, look what this beaver has done. <laughs> look. Yeah, it's filthy water. But what do you do? I mean, I was trying to walk up here, but my feet were getting wet anyway, so. Wow, this is deep, everybody. Up to my knees. Let me find that beaver. Give him a little talking to. He's made a mess. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to check for leeches when I get out of here. This water is nasty. Look, there's boards up there, everybody. <laughs> Hilarious. Wow, this is deep. Ooh, baby, and it's cold. Look what this beaver's done. Where you at, Mr. Beaver? Wanna have a little talking with you? <laughs> That's where it came from, everybody. Look, he's got this whole area just flooded. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ugh. I know this board is just floating. When I step on it, it's just gonna sink. Like I probably shouldn't even step on it because it's probably gonna be slippery, but I'm going to. Oh. It sunk, but not too bad. Let's try to get over here. All right, guys. Beaver Dam is still wet. Check it out, everybody. That's where we came from. Look, water crossing. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Alternate dry route. Yeah, we know about that too. Look at this. The village of Rouch Gap stood here from 1828 to 1910. Peak population, thousand plus people. Industries were coal mining and railroad equipment repair. The mines were not productive and the railroad moved its operation in 1872. So, Roush Gap, baby. 
Look, I want to show you something else too. The trail goes across this bridge. But you can read this if you want to. You can pause it. Here you go. And pause it if you want to read it. And this right here too. Yeah, just pause it and pause it again, baby. So, yeah, how cool. A little village used to stand here. Huh, the road is still here though. That's cool. Check this out, everybody. Got a little waterfall, baby. Coming out of that whatever it is overflow tank or something all right guys forgot to show you what's happening everybody it is pretty damp out here today tell you what <laughs> The wind's just blowing and it's like raining out of the trees. It's misting so hard that it's like dripping off the leaves when the wind blows. And it's almost like it's raining. So, well, it is raining, but very lightly. What do we got here? Sand Spring Trail. The General. Nope, not doing either one of those. What I'm trying to do, I think, is there's a campsite up here, and I should hit it at like three o'clock in the afternoon, and then I'm gonna try to get some service. Hopefully, I got service there. And uh, look at the radar, because when I was in Lickdale, everybody, and I looked at the radar, about 3:30 is when it's gonna really start coming down. So I'd like to be uh, in my tent before. It starts like thunderstorming, so I don't have to set my stuff up in a thunderstorm. Because the next shelter is like, I don't know, I'd have to walk till like 7 or 8 o'clock at night to get to the next shelter. And uh, yeah, if it starts downpouring at 3.30, it'd be like four hours of walking in a thunderstorm. Who knows, maybe I out walk the thunderstorm, maybe just like... By the time I get to that next shelter, it'll be done. But I don't know. So I think what I might do is just get to this little campsite up here. I think it's up here. I don't know. That's what my book says. And then uh, check that site out. And I might call it a day there and just wait out the weather. I don't really know what I'm doing for sure. But that's a thought. So, alrighty, guys. I figured I'd come back and show you trail and let you know that, yeah, I'm still wet. All right, everybody. Now it's raining. <laughs> no doubt about it. Huh. Now I don't know if I should just keep walking in it. Or set up my tent at this campsite up here. It's not that bad, actually. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a blowing rain. This is like a, it's like a straight down rain. So it's really not that bad. I'm pretty dry, actually, except for my feet, of course. But the beaver dam did those in. So yeah, you know, I don't know what I'm doing yet kind of early to be stopping i don't know what i'm gonna do in my tent for that long i guess i could sleep but yeah i don't know if i did if i stopped now i'd probably be up at like 3 a.m hiking so i don't really know what i'm gonna do but you guys will be the first to know so all right guys figured i'd let you know getting rained on <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Check it out. 
Yellow Springs Village Register. So this is the clearing with a campsite, everybody. And I don't think I can stop this early. So um, if my memory serves me right, look, I'll show you guys. Oh, there is no log book in there, just a postmaster residence moved. <laughs> AT baby. So now what I was saying is my memory, if it serves it me right, um, as soon as I start going down off this ridge, there is a campsite. I've camped there before, so that's kind of what I'm banking on right now. It's another six miles, I think. So I don't know. I should be there around six, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how bad it starts thunderstorming on me. But you know, I can't stop this early. So I am gonna keep continuing on, and you never know. Maybe it won't even thunderstorm on me if it just keeps doing this all day. That won't be bad. I can live with this. So, alrighty guys, figured I'd show you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> This is kind of neat walking through this cloud, everybody. Been in this cloud all day. And it's kind of been cool. I mean, yeah, here, let me spin you around. <laughs> we are definitely in a cloud. That's where we came from, everybody. And then that's where we're going. We're just walking in the rain, baby. Check it out, everybody. It's like the green tunnel in the rain. Look. Yeah, it's still raining on me too. <laughs> but look up, buddy. Orange cream sickle, baby. This makes the rain a little more enjoyable, I guess. And it's not thundering and lightning yet, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Alrighty guys, figured I'd show ya. <laughs> yeah. The weatherman was right again. Darn it. Maybe I should have set my tent up at that last spot where it wasn't raining so hard. <laughs> oh well. There's spots right here too, but I'm in it already. And wet is wet, baby. So. There used to be a tower here. Boom. Boom. 
Oh, bigger tower. There's four platforms. Or poor little pillory pilings. Jeez. I didn't spit that out, but yeah, there's there's some decent camping right here. Oh, check this out, everybody. This is so cool. Look at this tree. How cool, huh? Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Yes, I figured I'd let you know that it's still raining on me. Yeah, the trail's wet, baby. And I think I might just push on past that little campsite oh, I was talking about and uh, cross this road and go to another campsite. I don't know. Or I'll just keep walking. Who knows? Look. Yeah, baby. Check it out, everybody. That's where we came from. And look, this spot right here, boom. This is where I've camped twice before. Because of this little spring, everybody. Yeah, barely flowing, but there it is. But I'm not stopping there either. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep motoring. We'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, end of the day recap, day 65, I left that abandoned power line campsite, pretty nice campsite, at 1002.9, now sitting at PA 325, which is Clark's Creek, north of road, that's what my book says, 1024.9, uh, Makes it a 22 mile day, everybody. And uh, some of you guys may, but might be wondering, where am I at? Well, everybody, let me tell you a little story. So, I sent my box to Duncannon, PA, the box, my resupply box from John Marsden uh, from Delaware Water Gap. Remember that massive resupply? Well, I sent myself a box to Todd Stahl's house, everybody. If you guys remember Todd Stahl, when T-Rex and I came through Duncan and going north, man, he hooked it up. So before we got to the road to get to Duncan, there was a couple birch beers. Oh, before that even, the night before we got into Duncan, everybody, he left trail magic in the bear box for us. Some White Castle burgers, some birch beer, root beer. And then the morning we walked down into Duncan and at the road there, right before we get into Duncan, he left a couple more birch beer, root beers. Awesome. And then we went to breakfast at the diner and we walked in, T-Rex and I, and uh, the lady's like, what's your name? And I told her my name. She's like, well, dinner's on Todd. So yeah, going northbound, Todd Stahl hooked it up in Duncan and PA, everybody. So I knew I could send a box to his house. So that's what I did. And today, I don't know, about an hour before I've got to PA 325, everybody, maybe not even an hour, maybe it was 45 minutes. He called me, or texted me, well, yeah, he texted me, so I called him back. He said, are you walking in this? It's downpouring out. And I said, yeah, buddy, I'm, I'm motoring in it. 
And uh, he said, you want me to come get you somewhere? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm like an hour away from PA 325. He said, I can be there in 40 minutes. So Todd Stahl came and got me from PA 325, everybody, with Arby's and a Coca-Cola. So we had this huge roast beef sandwich, two things of curly fries, a soda, perfect. Took him back to his house. He hooked his camper up for me to stay in, this motorhome, which is sweet. And uh, it's got heat and everything, which is plugged in. I mean, I can plug in, charge everything. Pretty awesome. And then Todd actually went and got us Chinese food. So yeah, Todd Stahl hooking it up in Duncan, everybody. A repeat offender from the uh, Hawk Support Group, everybody. So yeah, today was super wet, everybody. And uh, yeah, I couldn't have been happier when Todd Stahl said he was gonna come get me because I, honestly, I was just gonna walk till the rain stopped. Even if it meant walking all the way to Duncan, everybody, because it was downpouring. Uh, so yeah, luckily I didn't have to do that. He came and got me and he's gonna take me back to trail in the morning too. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, and I got a shower too. So I'm all fresh and some clean, clean. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. I'm 16.4 miles away from Duncannon or the Susquehanna River. Susquehanna? I don't know. One of those rivers that we walk over before we get into Duncannon. Uh, so, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I might just go into Duncannon. I might push past Duncannon to, uh, let me see what road it is here. PA 850, I believe. Yeah, it's 850. And so it's going to be a 16 mile day or a 26 mile day. We'll see how I feel. So that's what it is, everybody. Uh, day 45, 22 miles, baby. And I hope you guys stayed dry today for sure. And I hope you guys had a great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.